Okay, um, I apologize for getting this uh, lesson out to you guys um later than i had intended i've had all kinds of technical difficulties here bet between my computer and my cell phone um and just different software issues so i wanted to make sure i get this posted and out to you guys um and we're going to be talking about um writing and interpreting numerical expressions um this is something that we learned um in the beginning of the school year and so this should be sort of a, a review um, and understanding how we can take a word problem um, and write it as a numerical expression um, and then be able to evaluate that expression. Okay. So um, there's a couple things to think about when you are evaluating a numeric, I'm sorry, when you are um, interpreting a word problem. And that, are, that is clue words. Now your students, and we've made um, anchor charts in class similar to these here, in which we understand that there are certain clue words within a word problem that tells us what operation we need to do to help us solve that problem. And as you can see here, <clears throat> Uh, let me make this, I'm sorry, let me make this bigger. Give me one second. Okay. Um, so there are certain things um, or certain words that gives us the hint or a clue as to what operation we are dealing with in order to help us um, ultimately interpret a uh, word problem. Um, and then evaluate it um, so that we can solve that word problem. And that's kind of the goal when we think about math, when we think about school, it's solving problems. And there are certain clues that we look at even in real life, just like in math, um, that gives us the hint on what we should do, okay? So a couple of those clue words for addition are words like some, and all, total, all together, more than, how much more combine, join, these are all sorts of words. Um, and there's more, like when you have something that says, if, I, if uh, Jill has eight pieces of candy and Tommy has seven, how many do they have? So that word that gave me a clue that I would, that's an addition word problem was the word and, because we know and means in addition to, okay? Um, so words such as subtraction, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> subtraction words such as different, decrease, minus, less than, how much less, um, separate. And another word that we add to that is how much more than. Um, and so that how much more than, you have to kind of think about that carefully and evaluate that or um, interpret that carefully because it could be confusing as to if it's addition or subtraction. So you really have to look into the problem and break it down as to what am I doing? Is it how much more than Jill has, meaning that I would subtract the two, or how much more um, does Jill need, which meaning that I would also subtract to find out what's left over that she needs, or how much more um, will it cost uh, if I add uh, or if I give Jill three more pieces of candy. So then there you have addition, okay? Um, so multiplication, we're looking at words like triple, double, twice, of, again, playing um, really close attention of how of is being used because that can also be confusing. But in the world of fractions, when you say uh, two sixths of um, three eighths, then you know that they're saying multiply that so that I can find out how many I have in all. Um, product, times more, triple, those are all words that again tell us, give us clues that the operation that we're going to be using here would be multiplication. Uh, then there's division where you're splitting things. So you may see um, the idea of something being split so that you can have equal share or equal pieces. Divided by, 
how many groups, because dividing is putting things in individual groups that are equal. Um, quotient, broken into, share, each. All of those are uh, words that we have talked about and discussed in school that helps us understand clue words. I'm sorry, word problems and how to interpret those word problems. Now, when you look at the idea of evaluating these expressions, once we have um, actually put together the word, uh, took in the word problem, interpreted it, and then put it in an actual um, numerical expression, we then can evaluate it and evaluate in a, in, in a certain order. Um, as we know, just like in anything, everything has certain order and we call it in the world of math, we call it order of operation, okay? Order of operation. And most of you did really well with picking up on this order of operation and understanding that there are certain things that come first. And so that is how we evaluate these ex numerical expressions by um, doing what's in parentheses first, then um, evaluating um, any exponents, evaluating multiplication, then division, um, and then evaluating addition and then subtraction. Now take pay close attention to multiplication and division, because here it says multiplication and divisions are BFFs, the total friends, which is true because you know multiplication and division are very similar to each other, they're just the exact opposite. But if you know one, you know the other. Whichever comes first in an order of operation um, or in a numerical expression, that is what we evaluate first. So it's from left to right, um, is solved first. So if you have a problem that has a, uh, that you end up having a multiplication and division problem um, and the division comes first in that problem, then you start out with your division first um, and then you do multiplication. Same thing is true with addition and subtraction. There are BFFs and whichever one comes first, after you have evaluated your parentheses, after you have done your exponents, and after you've done your multiplication on the five, you would then see which one comes first um, with your addition and subtraction. Same holds true with the multiplying and dividing, whichever one comes first. We'll talk more about that on um, our next lesson in which I will build on these concepts so that we can understand how we go about doing that um, in what order, okay? So now, um, what is ex an expression exactly? A expression is a group of numbers and symbols that shows a numerical relationship. Remember, when we express something, we show it, much like expressing our feelings. Uh, when we express our feelings, we use symbols and sounds. Uh, we call those words or gestures, we write it out. When we are feeling something inside, um, we then interpret that in words by writing it down in our journal or, or speaking it to someone. Um, and we do the same sort of thing when it comes down to showing math problems. When you have a math problem, you then have to express it um, in a numerical expression, meaning taking those words, interpreting them, and then putting them in a numerical expression. And numerical just means number, okay? Um, so you're putting it in a number-based expression. That's what numerical means, numerical expression. All right, and then evaluate. What does it mean to evaluate? Well, to evaluate is to find the value of an, ex of an expression. So it's to have a problem and then to find the value within that problem, okay? So just like if I was coming to you and I told you, oh my gosh, I love you so much. You are just the best person in the world. You may find value in that expression. You may evaluate it and say, oh man, that's great. You're my best friend because I can tell that you love me so much. So just like we do when we communicate um, through language, we do sort of the same things in math in which we evaluate expressions all the time. So let's have an example. This is an example of an, uh, interpreting a numerical expression. Uh, this is before we even evaluate. So we're not ready to really evaluate and solve or find the value in anything until we can break down the word problem and form a numerical ex expression 
um, that, that shows what operation or what order of operation we need to do or path we need to take in order to really solve this problem. So let's read it. And you can read along with me. Lisa saw three times as many birds as her sister when they went to the park. Her sister saw two blue jays and five cardinals. So I'll give you just a few seconds to evaluate, I'm sorry, to um, interpret this on your own and write down on a piece of paper your numerical expression for this problem. Remember uh, to use cubes. We've used cubes a lot in our classroom that helps us kind of go through a process where C is you're circling your um, clue words, which is what we just talked about, those clue words. Um, then you're going and underlining what the question, this one is actually not asking anything because it just wants you to write the expression. Um, and boxing in words, uh, keywords, and also um, once we get to that point, you'll, you'll go into evaluating it. Um, but right now, all you have to do really is the first part of the cubes, which is going through and finding those two words that tell you exactly what numbers you're dealing with and what operation you're dealing with so that you can then write an expression. So let's write an expression for this problem. I'll give you a moment. All right, so I came out of that, uh, my screen here so that I can be able to type. So I'm hoping that you're able to see um, the words okay. It gets a little smaller. I might zoom in, let's see. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now let's look at this problem. It says Lisa saw how many? She saw three times as many. So let's put that in red. Three times as many birds as her sister when they went to the park. Now, of course, it doesn't, this part doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if she saw birds or if she saw cars or whatever. So we know this information here is kind of irrelevant, wouldn't you say? It doesn't matter if they're going to the park. This is just extra information to make our word problem sound nice, okay? To tell a story in our word problem. What's most important at this point is three times as many. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and highlight that as well or turn that to red. Three times as many, okay? So right away, we see a clue word there, don't we? And we see our number there. Her sister saw two, we're gonna make this red as well, or let's make that blue, since they're saying bluer. Um, her sister saw two blue jays and five cardinals, okay? So now, Based on what we understand here, we understand that, well, times must mean what? Multiplication, right? When we time something, it means multiplication. So let's go back here and see if that's on our, it's actually not on this list, but, oh, here we go, times more, see that? Okay, right here. And so right away then, we know that I'm dealing with multiplication, okay? So I can go ahead and write in three times, Because okay. whatever the amount is, Lisa's gonna have three times as many that amount. So that means I'm gonna have to do what? I'm gonna have to solve what her sister has first. So when we say that something comes first, the first thing we need to do in the order of operation um, that's parentheses. So in order for me to know what Lisa has, I'm going to have to know what her sister has first. That has to come first in order for me to multiply that by three. So that gives me the clue that, okay, I'm going to need a parenthesis. Okay. 
okay? Because we know that whatever comes in the parentheses comes first, as we talked about briefly in the order of operation. And again, we'll have more practice on this order of operation, but you guys have practiced this quite a bit in school and have, um, I think for the most part, got a good understanding of it, okay? Oops. All right, so now, well, what do we have to, uh, what do we have to calculate or evaluate first in order for us to multiply this answer by three? Well, we have to, um, we have to know, uh, I'm sorry, we have to evaluate what two bluebirds and two blue jays, I'm sorry, and five cardinals is. So there's that word and again, I'm sorry, I should have highlighted that as well. So yeah, her sister saw two blue jays and five cardinals, okay? We don't really care if they're cardinals, so I'll unhighlight that because it doesn't matter what really they are. We care about the fact that we have two of something and five of something. And in order for me to know how much Lisa has of something, whatever that is, I would have to know then what was the total amount that her sister had, yes? <clears throat> All right, so two and five. So two plus five, and there is my numerical expression. In order to find out what Lisa saw, I would then need to find out what her sister saw first. Her sister saw two blue jays and five cardinals. So now I would evaluate this. I'm ready to evaluate this using order of operation, starting out with my parentheses because I have to know what's in these parentheses first. And then I am left with a multiplication problem. So that would look a little bit like this, in which we're gonna really go into that further on the next lesson, okay? So that would be, um, <clears throat> two plus five, parentheses, parentheses first, which would be, Two plus five, which would be seven, right? And now I am left with bringing down, bring down the rest of your expression, which would be three times and we have the answer seven, okay? And now I can multiply because that's the next step in my order of operation and that's all I have left in my expression. Um, and three times seven is what? Okay, so that means Lisa, that would mean Lisa had 21, oh, I'm sorry, okay. saw 21 birds, okay? So now what we did here was we wrote the expression. And just because I have a lot of faith in you guys and moving forward with it, we also were able to go ahead and evaluate this expression, which gave us our final answer. And we used order operation. It's all on board, there we go. Okay. 
So I hope this makes sense. Now, what you're going to be doing <coughs> next is um, you have a word problem that is in your packet, okay, in your um, uh, distant learning packet. And that word problem goes a little bit like this. Oops. So that word problem goes a little bit like this. We have video game scores. I know you guys are all into your video games. So this is right up your alley. Eric is playing a video game. At a certain point in the game, he has three I'm sorry, 31,500 points. That's a lot of points. Eric has been playing a lot of video games. Then the following events happen in order. Okay. He earns 2,450 additional points. He loses 3,310 points. The game ends and his score doubles. Write an expression for the number of points Eric has at the end of the game. Do not evaluate the expression, okay? What we did was evaluate, we wrote the expression and evaluated. But with this one, I only want you to start out with um, coming up with an expression for this word problem based on those keywords okay we got we had a lot of information in there but only certain information really is what we need for, uh to break this down and interpret it as an expression the expression uh should keep track of what's happening in each step so start from the top and work your way down in this word problem and start to form the expression the same way we did with the simple example in the previous slide okay? where we started from here and we worked our way step by step looking at each uh, clue where that was given to help us put this expression together and then move into evaluating it. Okay? Um, and I would like for you to share with me your expressions um, in the comments um, or you can also um, rem send me those expressions through Remind. I'll take them either way, um, just to see how you uh, were able to do with that. Now, part two would be Eric's sister, uh, Leela, or Layla, plays this same game. When she is finished, her score is given by the expression three times 24,500 plus 3,610 minus 6,708. So now what you're gonna do um, next for this word problem here is to take the, e the expression and then put it in word form, meaning make your own word problem similar to the one up top that also uh, reflects or shows this word problem here, okay? Um, but don't jump into doing that quite yet. I would like to see exactly what you guys come up with with the first for the first expression. Okay, highlight here. So work on just the first. I'll just turn it. Mm, I can't see that well, huh? <clears throat> All right, so um, take the rest of the evening or tomorrow morning, because um, I know it's late now when I'm posting this. However, work on this uh, problem in the morning, and by 12 o'clock, um, I'll check in with you guys to see what you were able to come up with, okay? I will be posting a your English uh, language art video as well by tomorrow so that you can review it now that I'm up and running with all my technology in place. Um, so if you have any questions, be sure to check in with me and thank you for tuning in. Um, I will talk to you guys soon.